Hello coders, welcome to my channel. My name is Divya and in today's video, we will download Visual Studio Code for writing our C programs and uh, we will also download MinGW compiler so that we can compile our programs and uh, we can see the output, okay? And so go to uh, Chrome browser, you can choose any browser and just simply type download Visual Studio Code and you will see this first link code.visualstudio.com I will provide this link in the description box also I will provide all the links whichever we are downloading uh, compiler or the software so that you do not face any problem and so uh, here in this page you can see windows linux mac so depending on your operating system which you are using you can select uh, whatever you want to download so because i am using windows laptop so i will click on it and it will start downloading visual studio so we can see here that vs code is getting downloaded it is a 89.9 mb file so if you press window r and type cmd just to open uh, command prompt and just type gcc hyphen hyphen version this command we are running to check if our uh, system already has a gcc compiler because in linux machine it is already there and maybe in windows also you have downloaded uh, earlier but if not we can check uh, this uh, so by running this command we found that gcc is not recognized as an internal or external command we get we are getting this error which means that compiler is not installed in our system okay so for that we will uh, need a compiler so what we will do on the same page if you see uh, the same page from where we downloaded visual studio uh, just click on this c++ in the left side and then scroll down a little bit and yeah just click on gcc on windows and here you can see my m sys2 right m sys2 so you can click either this or this and click this link direct link to the installer okay it is also started downloading so visual studio code has been downloaded now we will install it in our system just click on it and uh, select this box i accept the agreement click on next click on next click on next and uh, don't forget to check these boxes if you want to create a desktop icon then you can select this otherwise don't forget to check these boxes these should be uh, selected these should be selected. i am selecting this also and then click on install and this is very simple uh, downloading a software is not a very big deal so it will install and msys2 is also getting downloaded it is about to download okay this is installed but i am not going to open it because uh, first we will install the compiler then we will uh, write a program directly in this okay this is also downloaded so now we will install it click on next 
I will keep the location default. So I'm not going to change anything here. Click on next. So it is downloaded. Check this box. Run MSYS2 now and click on finish. After that, you will get this. So here you need to run one command. Finally, it is downloaded. So now we can close it. Now we will go to this space and see. Uh, earlier it was empty, but now there are some files. What we need is G++, GCC, and GDB. So all are here, right? GDB.exe, GCC, and G++. Okay, now. We need to set the path, so just copy this and right click on this PC and go to properties. Go to advanced system setting, environment variables, click on path, edit click on new and the address which you copied just paste it over here click enter cop ok click ok and then click ok again now you can close this and if you open command prompt now and run that command again Earlier we were getting that uh, can't recognize internal or external command, something like that error. But now you should be able to see the version. So if we run G++ hyphen hyphen version, yeah, we are getting uh, this. We can also run this GDB hyphen hyphen version. And we can see the versions whichever are downloaded in our system 13.1 and 13.2 okay so finally compiler is also installed in our system and the path is also set so that we can run our c programs from any location and now we can open the visual studio code which we installed and now because the compiler is also installed we can open visual studio but before that what we will do we will create a folder so i have created a folder code here and i have created this main uh, dot c file which is a c program which is printing hello world so i will just right click and open the code so now this code uh, this folder will be opened in this visual studio code If you see main.c file is already there. And now if we run this program, new terminal, because earlier when we were trying to uh, compile it, it will not. So because the compiler was not there. Okay, so we will run this basic command to compile our program GCC and then file name main.c and if you notice the one more file a.exe has been created because earlier only main.c was there so now if you run uh, if you type a and tab and hit enter you should be able to see the output as you can see we were printing a radhi radhi so we can see this output and now our setup is ready we can create more programs and we can make projects also so thank you all